Okay, let's talk about this uh, Plarin Pro 50cc PP5020AV chainsaw. 20 inch blade. It's not really a blade. They call it a bar. And it's got a chain. A couple of things we're going to do. Make sure we got plenty of fuel, which I just filled up. And uh, make sure that our bar chain has a good bar oil. Uh, whenever you uh, go to make your gas, I do it easy. I take a one gallon gas can, one gallon of gas to one container of this size of two cycle oil. That way I'm right every time. Real simple. One of these to one gallon of gas. It's good to always have some chainsaw files to sharpen your chain on a regular basis. I like to do it a little bit after every use. Make sure my chain's sharp, make sure my chain is tight and adjusted properly. You should always use the recommended bar and chain oil. I know there are guys out there, some of them will use transmission fluid, used motor oil, or any old got darn thing that'll uh, go in and lubricate the chain. And maybe that does help, but you should really use the recommended chain oil for your piece of equipment if you want to make your chain and your bar and your engine last project i need a stump for my anvil so i can do some blacksmithing now i like my anvil height to be between my navel and my hips so i'm going to take a measurement of the anvil height that's about nine inches so I'll subtract that. I will next measure up to my navel height. We're looking at about 40 inches for my navel height. So it gives me a little bit of degrees between 36 to 40 inches. So 40 minus 10 would be like 31 inches okay or nine inches would be like 31 inches so i will go with 32 inches because it's going to sink in the ground a bit so that'll be the length of the log i want to cut 32 inches length now i've been taking down this big uh dead tree here got a lot more cutting to go but i got this big old log on the ground and that's a lot more solid than i thought it was so I can take the solid end, the other end's more rotten, but I can take the solid end, thicker end, for my anvil stump at 32 inches. Seems to measure 17 inches across. And we gotta figure we're gonna have to square this after we cut it, so we'll go with our 32 inches right there. We're going to add a couple inches to square it after we get it cut at 36 inches. I'm going to just take and I'm going to square this to make a mark at 36 inches with my handy dandy multi-tool. Love this thing. Victronics. They don't pay me, but I've had this thing for decades and it's never failed me. And this chainsaw cold. It's been sitting around for a couple months. So, uh, first thing we do is we're going to flip that to the on position and pull out the choke all the way. Then we're going to have to give it a couple of pulls. Okay, starting the chainsaw. Again, make sure your switch is in run instead of stop. Choke all the way pulled out. Foot firmly braced. And you hold that, pull the handle a couple of times. In the full choke, go to half choke, couple of pulls, all the way in to run. You ought to be ready to take off. Make sure your chain brake is off. Thank 
Now you got to make sure that you're always safe with the chainsaw and watch the chain break. inch log cut with a 20 inch saw. Unfortunately I didn't have anything I could roll the whole log with. But I got this piece off. Now later on we'll uh, take that, roll it down, and we'll put an anvil on it. All right, we got that log cut but it's getting dark so we got part one with that Polaris chainsaw 50cc 20 inch bar. Works great. It's not a Husqvarna, it's not a still, but I've been using it for years. You take proper care of your tools, your tools will take proper care of you. Also, remember, wear your eye protection, your head protection, and your hearing protection. Because if you don't take care of your body, it's going to break. Just like any tool. You misuse it, you break it. Your body's a tool. Take good care of it. And, uh... So this is part one, and part two will be uh, getting that anvil squared on that log, rolled down, get that anvil set, and hammered in. Ooh, boy, look at all that sweat just dripping down. It's a nice warm summer day and good hard work with the sun going down. Nothing like it in the world. So uh, if you like my videos, punch that subscribe button. You want to see more of uh, how I do things on the farm? You see how I do things blacksmithing, woodworking, building, repairing, uh, all the things that we deal with in life and some things that a lot of guys don't do and wish they could, uh, how to do it. That's what this is all about. This content is free and it will remain free. Right now I have less than a thousand subscribers, so that means that you get no commercials. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that like button if you like it, click that dislike button if you dislike it. And please make a comment. You got something that I'm doing wrong, something I'm doing right, something you want to see more of, something you want to see less of. Let me know. Make a comment in the comment section. I'll reply. And uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time in Chainsaw Part 2.